Hello everyone and welcome to another Trek Guide video and today we got Spa Frankorchamp in group 3 and this one is on the soft tires so this one is pretty much with the fastest tire out there plus I'm gonna be using the Skyline so the Skyline is pretty much the quickest car in the qualifying and I think it's a popular choice in the race so I usually split my two stints in half so four uh, pretty much, yeah, four laps on softs and four laps on the mediums. You can do a little bit better with the softs, but you have to take care of the tires. But either way, without further ado, let's get going. And let's start with the track guide right here. And I usually like to take kind of a wider line out of the last corner so I can carry a bit more speed onto the main straight and I like to take it out in second gear not first but second gear it will give me more traction and in general I believe it's quicker but here right after the 100 meter sign at about a 75 I try to start braking and when you reach the 50 meter sign you slowly pass it and then you turn in and just as I mentioned before exits must be done in second gear but also uh, you need to take into account that this car has a little bit of delay so when you put the throttle down it's gonna take you know it's gonna take a certain amount of time until the car really starts accelerating so it's not like with the other cars you really have to put the throttle earlier than with them so you can see that around the track i usually put the throttle much much earlier than with other cars because it has a little bit of a lag but here 100 i think right at the 100 i brake i use a bit of that curb and then climb onto the curb not that much trail braking and into third gear i usually i kind of skip a gear to avoid upshifting because this car it takes a lot of time to upshift this car so you just want to minimize uh, really want to minimize upshifts and downshifts but here always third gear on the way out and now we are looking at the curb so curbs are as usual pretty much your breaking points or turning points or whatever you make them to be but here i decided to go a little bit wider the car got sideways and in the end i took this very very nice line and finished uh, basically kind of it, it was okay if i kind of exit the corner in second but third i believe is better looking at the marks on the track and then you slightly tap the brakes maybe about 30 percent maybe even less and then it's all about coasting into the turn and accelerating as soon as you can but in third gear so third gear rather than fourth i'm not sure if you can do it in fourth but i think third is a better option but here we're looking at the marshal as soon as you get to the marshal about 50 60 percent of the brakes i didn't really get this one as I mean, I just missed a little bit of that apex and it cost me, I think it cost me like maybe half a tenth, maybe even more because you're already carrying that speed and, you know, speed is everything here. So, uh, 50 meter sign, you can also use the shadow right in front and then third as you reach the apex second, so it rotates the car a little bit better. And then third gear on the way out because again, you want to minimize that rotation actually the wheel spin and once again putting the throttle down earlier than you normally would because this car already has a bit of delay so just put the power down and it's gonna be okay it's not gonna slide that much here curb you're getting into the turn a little bit of trail braking as as you start the trail brake just before the curb you downshift in the second to get the rotation here i think this one uh, in the qualifying is kind of easy so i didn't really uh, need any kind of an additional explanation to this but this one it's a little bit trickier. I always look at the marks on the track. So this is uh, this is pretty much my reference point for turning. And with this car, it's easy. But with the Supra, it can be quite understeer. So be careful how you do the turn. But here, looking at the 150 meter sign, but I brake slightly later. At about 125, 130. If you can brake at 125, congratulations. You made a very, very good job. But here, downshift into first gear to get that rotation. First gear and second, when you upshift into second, just a tap on the brakes. And as soon as you can, accelerate before... Uh, pretty much even before uh, the end of the corner but oh. this was a 13.0 i i know there is a lot more potential i think even i can get into like mid 12s but that would take a lot of practice to get done so i hope you liked the video if you did you can even smash the like button um, you might even want to subscribe if you really like to so once again uh, guys thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you next time bye
at 13.0.